the battle over ballots in full swing across the state, a look at the ongoing protests and legal fights brewing inside courtrooms as the statewide recount continues. Plus, why the Manatee County Supervisor of Elections Office is forced to start over with its recount. And a video on sexual consent is shown to some high school seniors in class. How the Sarasota County School District is responding to upset parents. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us. Jacqueline has the evening off. Topping our news this evening, more than a dozen races across the country remain too close to call, including the Senate and governor races here in Florida. The margin is razor thin and a mandatory recount is now underway. ABC's Elizabeth Hur has more on the recount process. The battle over ballots in full swing across Florida. With ongoing protests outside election headquarters and legal fights brewing inside courtrooms. What we are asking the court to do today is to remove any doubt. This emergency hearing in Broward County on Monday ending with a judge saying he sees no evidence of wrongdoing. The two sides in Florida Senate race have filed lawsuits with just over 12,000 votes separating the current governor Rick Scott and Democratic incumbent Bill Nelson. The race for governor also tight, just within a half percentage point. That margin triggering an automatic recount for both races and President Trump tweeting claims of election fraud without evidence. The evidence is that Rick Scott and Ron DeSantis have won. In fact, Andrew Gillum conceded on the night of the election. Well, the Democrat Andrew Gillum did admit defeat on election night, but he has since rescinded his concession and his Republican opponent Ron DeSantis is not backing down. Voters in Florida in the meantime continue rallying, chanting all voices need to be heard. Every vote should count. Every vote should count regardless. We want to make sure all ballots are counted legally. Election workers in Florida have until 3 p.m. this Thursday to complete the recount by machine. Now, if the margin of victory at that time falls under a quarter of a percentage point, then the law calls for a recount by hand. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. And coming up on ABC 7 at 7, Alan Cohen will have an exclusive interview with Katherine Harris, the former Florida Secretary of State, who was in charge of that controversial 2000 presidential recount. New at 5. A human error is forcing the Manatee County Supervisor of Elections Office to completely start over with that recount process. The recount began in Manatee County this morning and they were about a quarter of the way through the ballots when they realized an error had been made. Around 2 o'clock this afternoon they started that recount over. At the time they had started over, they had already recounted around 43,000 ballots out of the nearly 170,000 ballots completed in the recent election. A Sarasota police officer is on leave after his arrest in Pinellas County. Officer Derek Gilbert removed from an airplane because he was allegedly drunk and attacked an airline staffer. Pinellas County Sheriff's deputies say Gilbert smelled of alcohol and was yelling profanities at a Legion Airlines staff when they arrived at the St. Pete Clearwater International Airport Friday. Airline staff say that Gilbert was so drunk he could not find his seat, was slurring his speech and appeared confused. He's accused of pushing a female airline staffer and later angrily grabbing his 18-year-old son by the neck when the teen tried to calm him down. Gilbert is charged with domestic battery and trespassing. Sarasota police placing him on administrative leave with pay until an internal affairs investigation is complete. A Planned Parenthood video about consensual sex was shown to some Pine View High School seniors without district approval. According to the district, 135 students watched this three and a half minute video called When Someone Doesn't Want to Have Sex, What is Consent? It shows several hetero and homosexual couples getting physical and talking sexually. Parents are calling it graphic and demanding to know why their students had to watch it. Sarasota County School District says a counselor with a safe place in Rape Crisis Center or SPARC showed students, students the video that was not approved by school administration. The district says preliminary reports reveal the Spark counselor acted independently and both the district and Spark are now investigating what happened. In first alert traffic, School Avenue between Rainling Boulevard and Nova Street in Sarasota is now closed for six weeks. City officials say that closure is necessary so crews can install a new stormwater pipe. That's for a new development called Ping Park Village. Entrances to the county parking garage and the parking lots to the health department and Payne Park though are still open. 
School Avenue should reopen around December 27th. Let's get a check now on our first alert forecast on this Monday with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Hi, Bob. Hi, Scott, and a hot one it has been. 88 degrees today. That tied a record high. That's unofficial right now. It could have been higher. We're going to wait and see uh, from the National Weather Service. But 88 uh, tied the old mark uh, set back in 2002. That's how hot it got at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport today. And uh, great weather for beachgoers. We had lots of sunshine out there. A nice sea breeze kicking in with the water temperature at 79. It keeps things a bit cooler right near uh, the coast and that's what we saw today should be a gorgeous sunset tonight and as far as our current conditions go it has cooled because of that now south the southwest wind at nine we have sunshine and temperature at 82 degrees the dew point still way up there at 72 big storm to the north of us now where severe weather and tornadoes are possible over the panhandle of florida this is a developing low pressure area it's going to stay to our north on tuesday by wednesday things start to change and transition a little bit but more so thursday it will sweep a cold front our way and that'll cool us down and it looks like Thursday night will be cool all the way into Friday and Saturday of next week. But uh, you can see we have some showers and storms along the east coast earlier. Uh, a few spotty showers around the coast. You can see that activity kind of moving from the south uh, to the north right now and mainly inland. Just one or two lone showers there. We don't expect a lot of rainfall uh, near the coast. Temperatures currently cool over the panhandle 71 in Tallahassee. It's 82 here, but inland areas still very warm as, as a result of them being far away from the sea breeze. Feels like 90 in Mayaka City, 91 in Arcadia. Well, the tropical season not over yet for 2018. We have a tropical disturbance out here. This is a tropical wave, which has a real good chance of developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next five days as it makes its way off to the west southwest. Here is the latest on Invest 96L. It's expected to move uh, to the west and continue. Conditions could become a little bit more favorable for development uh, over the next uh, several days, so we'll watch it closely. Most of the models take it off to the west, northwest, and then a cold front catches it and bends it off into the Atlantic. Well, much more on this coming up in just a few minutes. Scott. All right, Bob, thank you so much. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now with news of a very rough start of the, of the week on Wall Street. Very rough. Uh, those of you who might have seen us here at noontime when the Dow was down by a mere 400 points said, well, maybe things will improve from there. It didn't. Mm -hmm. No, indeed, things did not approve. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down all day long. Frankly, all three indices that we follow were down all day long, and several major stocks were a reason for it. Apple, remember that company? Well, its shares fell by more than 5% today alone, and it's part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. How about Amazon? It was down by more than 4% today, and certainly the tech stocks were the hardest hit, as you're going to see by the NASDAQ. And oh yes, General Electric, remember that company? They closed at $7.98 a share. That's the first time GE has closed below $8 a share since March of 2009. Well, let's take a look at the numbers, and they aren't very pretty. There you see the Dow down 602 points, closing at 25,387.18, then on volume of 899 million shares. The biggest loser was the NASDAQ, and let's take a look at those numbers, down almost 2.8%, more than 206 points, closing at 7,200.87, that on volume of 1,942,000,000 shares. And certainly there's a red arrow for the NASDAQ down by almost 2%, 55 points at 2,726.22. Well, as one who was born and raised in Milwaukee, this is a story I simply had to do. The Pabst Brewing Company, PBR, you're probably familiar with that. Well, the Pabst Brewing Company is suing no more than Miller Coors because Pabst claims Miller Coors basically is trying to get them out of business. Believe it or not, almost all of the Pabst beer that has been produced since 1999 has actually been produced by Miller Coors. Now, Miller Coors said, oops, sorry, I don't think we can continue this contract. We need that production for ourselves. Well, as you could probably expect, lawsuit. And in lawsuit starting today, Milwaukee County Circuit Court judge will make a decision on this, but for right now, it looks like Pabst is trying to do anything it can to hang on, but it also looks like Miller's got the deep pockets. So, Scott, we'll just have to see how that comes out, but nothing like beer in Milwaukee. That's all I can say. They have a few there. Uh, a yeah. couple of ones, yes. Yeah. Well, what about tomorrow? Are we going to see this well, trend continue? We certainly saw a lot of momentum late, so it's possible. But Home Depot, one of your favorite companies, mm -hmm. Home Depot reports earnings tomorrow before the open. So maybe that'll oh, help turn things yeah. around. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're See welcome. you tomorrow. Okay.
Still to come in your Suncoast News, the most destructive wildfire in California history continues to burn. My officials say the destruction is only getting worse. And we'll get back to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for more on our first alert forecast for the rest of the work week. And then why parents shouldn't worry if their infant doesn't sleep through the night. The ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. Know your prey. What are we doing? Saturdays at 5:30 and Sundays at 2 on the ABC7 live stream. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction and collaborate with our designers to create the perfect custom solution for any room. Go to CaliforniaClosets.com to request a free design consultation and locate the showroom nearest to you. Happy Honda Days are here, and you're going to like the holiday clearance savings. Save on the Accord. On sale for just $249 a month. That's the North American car of the year for less than the competition. Our most impressive Honda ever. On clearance for only $249 a month. Loaded with more options, including a turbocharged engine and Honda Sensing. Do not miss these Honda clearance savings. This week at your local Honda dealer. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Addiction is a dark place. But just as each new day breaks, there's light. A light that illuminates the people by your side. Out of the darkness, you are walking with 22 million others struggling with addiction. The cure to darkness is light. The cure to stigma is love and the cure to disease is treatment. Join us as we walk into the dawn of a new day. Together, we are stronger than addiction. Learn more at chatterproof.org. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction and collaborate with our designers to create the perfect custom solution for any room. Go to CaliforniaClosets.com to request a free design consultation and locate the showroom nearest to you. A wildfire emergency out west, the Camp Fire in Northern California, now the most destructive fire in that state's history. In Southern California, the, the Woolsey Fire continues to rage and hundreds of homes have been destroyed so far. ABC's Natalie Brunel is on the fire lines in Oak Park, California. Firefighters on the front lines battling fatigue and a new round of ferocious Santa Ana winds. And now new fires erupting. Flames coming dangerously close to cars in LA's Simi Valley. They're going to shut down the 118 freeway, the eastbound lanes all together. You see they've shut it down there. Containment numbers for the Woolsey fire increasing, but the grim aftermath taking its toll as homeowners return to see what's left of their communities. On this road, there was only what, five houses, and now three of them are gone, so there's two houses. Governor Jerry Brown pressing the White House for a major disaster declaration. This is not the new normal. This is the new abnormal. And this new abnormal uh, will continue. Nearly 400 homes here leveled. Multi-million dollar real estate in Malibu gutted. Celebs losing homes too, including Gerard Butler, who shared photos of the destruction on social Welcome media. In, in some areas, entire neighborhoods look like a bomb went off. To the north, the devastating toll of the campfire emerging. Not only the most destructive fire in California's history, but now also equaling the state's deadliest. I would say the first hour was terrifying. I mean, I was like, in 
survival mode. Like my body, I could tell, like, cause I know some science thing. Like I was in, okay. like I needed to, I thought I was gonna die. The city of paradise wiped out, cars turning into tombs and more than 200 people remain missing. Officials expect the number of deaths in the campfire to increase significantly. And as for the Woolsey fire, it is now 20% contained, but firefighters remain very concerned about the winds here. Natalie Brunel, ABC News, Oak Park, California. Yeah, I wish we could send some humidity, rainfall, yeah. anything would help. Santa Ana winds just blowing and fanning yeah. the flames. High pressure set off in the Northwest Pacific there, causing those winds to be rather strong and intense. And unfortunately, you don't get a lot of warning time like you do with hurricanes and tropical systems. Typically, we get a day or two at least, right. you know, yeah. uh, with this, it can happen in minutes. And that's the reason why they have to have a, a to go package ready to go. Just grab and go. That's uh, and you go. see those cars and buses. It's amazing just how quickly that fire came upon them. Uh, we are looking at a, a storm system uh, developing possibly near the Caribbean, but should not have a big impact on uh, the United States as it will stay, I think, basically to the east of us. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. You see some of these uh, cumulus clouds trying to generate a shower or two. We did have a light rain here and there scattered about, but skies are clear now at Lakewood Ranch. Warm through Wednesday today, record tying heat, 88 degrees at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. And uh, we're going to see that warm weather stay with us through Wednesday. Now, Thursday will be a day of transition. We'll have a good chance for showers. Highs will be close to seasonal averages by then because of the increased clouds and also a little bit of a shower and thunderstorm activity as well. And then Friday, uh, a little delayed a little bit, but it will cool down Thursday night and throughout the day on Friday. Still anticipating low temperatures down into the low 50s in places. Uh, again, you can see the tornado watch box in place now for the Panhandle of Florida. This is the storm that will eventually sweep that cold front our way, but it's going to uh, be a couple of days for it to really get its act together and then event eventually generate that front to push through enough. Now, as far as that rain goes, you can see it's rather heavy and intense now, uh, moving through much of the Panhandle of Florida where that tornado watch is in effect through this evening. For us, a few spotty showers here and there, mainly inland possible. Otherwise, generally fair skies expected through this evening. Warm temperatures too. We'll see uh, temperatures at 11 o'clock into the mid 70s still with just a few clouds around uh, debris clouds left over from those inland showers. So the forecast tomorrow, a warm start temperatures about 10 degrees above average for us here will be in the low 70s. That's summer like and then high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s, especially inland areas. It'll feel more like 90, 92 degrees out there with that uh, heat index. And then uh, we'll see a slight chance for a few passing showers in the afternoon. Most of that will be inland. You can see those uh, winds starting to shift a little bit too more out of the south. So a chance to see some record highs tomorrow uh, and Tuesday. We'll start off nice in the day. Midday should be OK as well. A few inland showers possible. And then here comes uh, the system still getting its act together on Wednesday. You'll see a little bit more cloudiness around on Wednesday. So uh, we'll see a chance for a few spotty showers, I think mainly in the late afternoon and evening. But by Thursday, that chance really starts to increase. Well, the chances for this are fairly high, but the good news is it's gone down to 80% over the next five days. It had been as high as 90%. Uh, conditions are expected to become somewhat more favorable for this to develop into a tropical depression or possibly even a tropical storm over the next five days as it makes its way off to the west northwest. Uh, here's the latest on 96L. It's an invest. That means they're watching it closely. It's moving to the west at 10, the pressure at 1,008 millibars. Most of the models keep it on this west northwesterly course, then bend it to the north, and then the cold front catches it and uh, peels it out into the open waters of the Atlantic. Uh, the UK met, though, the uh, United Kingdom model is showing it going down in the Caribbean. Uh, we'll see that's an outlier at this point. The next named storm up on the system will be Patty, and hopefully uh, it doesn't develop. Now, still, there's a chance that it might into a tropical depression, as I said, or even a tropical storm. Right now, it's 82. Winds are out of the south southwest at nine and the pressure is uh, holding steady for the most part. So what we have uh, again, the cooler air is expected to move in on Friday. Should be a good weekend, albeit cooler next weekend. Here's the forecast and as things shake out for boaters tomorrow, winds will be out of the south at 10 knots, a little west in the afternoon. Seas running right around two feet and a light chop out there in the bays and then water is the extended forecast. Uh, temperatures in the mid 80s Wednesday, just a little bit cooler as increasing clouds around. And then uh, 79 for a high on Thursday. That's pretty close to average. 60% chance for showers and even a few thunderstorms. And then we cool down on into Friday and Saturday. Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. Now to first alert traffic. We're seeing reports of a crash in the northbound lanes of I-75. This is before the Fruitville Road exit in Sarasota. The Florida Highway Patrol says one person was killed in that crash. We'll continue to keep you updated once we learn more information.
In health news this evening, if your baby is not sleeping through the night at six months old, well, you're not alone. With more, here's ABC's Kenneth Moten. The blissful sounds of a newborn baby, but how do you get them to sleep through the night? New parents often hear that by six months, their baby should be sleeping six to eight hours. But as many parents know, babies don't always follow the rule book. A new study found that many normal, healthy babies don't sleep through the night at six or even 12 months. Babies who didn't sleep through the night did not show more problems with cognitive language or motor development. So set your baby down to sleep and hope for the best. <laughs> but they may not start giving you a peaceful night's sleep until well past their first birthday. With this Medical Minute, I'm Kenneth Moten, ABC News. Well, a common group of chemicals may be associated with language delay in kids. Phthalates are a common type of chemical found in many household products, including some types of plastic, personal care products, household cleaners, and many more. According to a new study published in JAMA Pediatrics, children who are born with mothers uh, who have high levels of these chemicals in their urine were up to 30% more likely to experience language delay. Coming up, a Michigan family says a nurse's sweet gesture of singing to an elderly patient may have helped him take a turn for the better. The story coming up. at every Ghetto location. Over 3,000 new vehicles, over 1,000 used vehicles on clearance right now at Ghetto.com. And Ghetto Pre-Owned Certified Plus means buying with peace of mind. Get credit help, fast cash for your car, and year-end clearance prices right now at a Ghetto dealership near you. Ghetto's got it. At Ghetto.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza Hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it, surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with Mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Outback is an IIHS top safety pick for 10 years running. Lease a new Subaru Outback today for just $2.49 a month or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. The body, it is a work of art and a powerful ally in the fight against cancer. A new approach called immunotherapy works by helping our immune system correctly identify and eradicate many types of cancer cells. Speak with your doctor and visit su2c.org slash immunotherapy to learn more. Your body might just be your greatest hope. A nurse in Michigan is caught on video singing to a hospice care patient, and the patient's family says that song gave him strength to keep fighting. Jake Barrett shows us how the nurse has been using her talents to lift the spirits of her patients. Even the toughest of men succumb to illness. He was a hardworking man. He didn't retire till he was 85 years old. Suddenly, Roberta Lytle's father, Robert Olson, started having trouble breathing. Took him into Bronson Hospital. He was there for about a week. 
we did not think he was coming home this time. Until Nurse Brenda Burstra walked in. While we were there, it, it took him about a week to be able to talk, but we were watching a show on Pat Boone, and he told the nurse, he goes, I don't like him, but I like a song that his daughter sings. And this lady just starts singing. You light up my life. He was beaming. He really was beaming. Yeah, his eyes lit up. His his whole countenance changed, and he had a big smile. And you give me hope. It was very overwhelming. And she goes, you know what, Mr. Olson? She goes, I don't know all the words. She goes, but I'll tell you what. I will print the words off, and I will come now. We'll we'll sing this together tomorrow. Sure enough. You if you listen to the video, you can hear him trying to sing at the very end. But it changed him. It was like, um, like he knew he was going to go home. A week later, Olson was sent home from the hospital. And that, for me, is what nursing is all about. To touch their life, to touch their heart, to make that awful hospital stay that they're, that they're having to go through a little bit better, a little bit brighter. I just hope this woman knows what she's done for my dad. I have sung to patients for 14 years. It's just the first time I got caught. <laughs> Power of music in the human spirit right there. Awesome. Still to come in your Suncoast News, Venice High School is overcrowded. Now the school district is now trying to figure out a solution. Plus a date is set for Sarasota City Commissioners to make a final decision on the future of the Lido Pavilion. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction and collaborate with our designers to create the perfect custom solution for any room. Go to CaliforniaClosets.com to request a free design consultation and locate the showroom nearest to you. Minnesota's only area rug superstore. There are lots of people who are confused about which Medicare plan is right for them. Hey, that's me. I barely know where to start. Well, start here with me, Karen. I'm a licensed Humana sales agent. Well, it's nice to meet you, Karen. I'm John Smith. Hi, John. At Humana, we know you're unique, so you have different needs from other John Smiths. Yeah, I've always thought so. And together, we can find a plan that's right for you. Great. I go to the doctor a couple of times a year and I have some prescriptions, but I'm never fully sure of what's covered and what's not. With Humana's all-in-one Medicare Advantage plans, you get coverage for hospital stays, doctor visits, and Part D prescription drug benefits, all for an affordable and sometimes no monthly plan premium. Do you have any more information? Sure. I'll get a decision guide in the mail to you today. They're free. Finally, someone who understands the real me. Your health and happiness is important to us. Call or go online now to get your free decision guide. Call a licensed Humana sales agent today. Experience true automotive luxury at Sunset Maserati, Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. NationalGuard.com. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is real. You can recover. It's possible. It happens every day. Never give up on yourself. Discover hope and help. I thought I was too far gone. I wasn't. Join the voices for recovery. The world is a beautiful place again. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental and substance use disorders for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. 
Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction and collaborate with our designers to create the perfect custom solution for any room. Go to CaliforniaClosets.com to request a free design consultation and locate the showroom nearest to you.